For years, the passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside at races across Europe and throughout the world. Now, at long last, they have a Grand Prix to call their own. It's a warm welcome once again to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. 2.6 miles then make up a lap here at a wet Zandvoort circuit where some tricky braking zones and sudden drops can make it all too easy to slide off into the gravel. There are 14 corners overall and a 678 meter main straight providing the best chance for overtaking. Now, Anthony Davidson, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today from the midfield teams, all trying to put some pressure on or disrupting things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you've got your own race to run, I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut while leaving the other one out there longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into an error. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Norris, Carlos Sainz and Hamilton. Ricardo, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, the owner driver. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Ocon, Vettel, Yuki Tsunoda, and Giovinazzi. Leclerc, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Raikkonen, Lance Stroll, and George Russell. Latifi, Mazepin, Sato, and Mick Schumacher. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. somewhere on the ICE, be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Illegal manoeuvre, see that position or we'll receive a penalty. reaching a danger point with the wear on the MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control.
Okay, you've got to leave room for other cars. We can't take too many penalties. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here in Zandvoort, but they have done, and done it in spectacular style. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Rain always has the potential to liven up a race and mix up the order, and they've taken full advantage of that to claim the victory today. It's always a bit of a lottery when the conditions are like this, but they've managed to stay on circuit and have come out on top. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Red Bull pulled further ahead in the standings. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. How do you feel these grid penalties are affecting the sport? How do you feel the weather affected the outcome today? You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you?
It looks like your rival bested you today, doesn't it? Appreciate your time. <laughs>